Hello Capricorn and welcome to your January 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Capricorn. Capricorn, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111 and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Capricorn, this is for you for your mid-month reading, January 2020. If this resonates with you, Capricorn, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Capricorn, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Capricorn. Whoops. For January 2020 for their mid-month reading. What is going on with Capricorn? What is going on with Capricorn? Okay. Wow. So you're hesitant to make a decision. You're hesitating to drop a situation so that you can move forward here. Uh, move forward towards your happiness. You're hesitant to let a situation go. Okay, so um, we've got um, cancer. At the bottom of the deck with the chariot you could be dealing with the cancer or somebody with strong cancer in their chart it's time to move capricorn that's what this is saying but you're not moving um you're not letting something go um you you are in a state of uh you're in limbo right now um so the chariot right there needs to be movement forward right you, I mean, there needs to be movement. There, decisions need to be made here. Otherwise, you're just going to be stuck. You're going to be in like this self-sacrificing state of mind, okay? It's almost like you're sac sacrificing your happiness for the happiness of everyone else. And it's time for you to move. Um, the universe is pushing you to make a decision so you can... I feel step into a, a different journey here. Um, so we got the chariot, right? Movement forward. Where do you want to go? You want to go right? You want to go left? You just need to move. Enough standing still. That's what I want to say. You got a decision to make and you're not making it, right? You need to follow your heart here. You could be dealing with this is... This is going to be a, a, a major decision for you, whatever this decision is. But something needs to be, you are holding on to something that needs to be let go of. All right, so we got the lovers here. It's time to start following your heart. You could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart here. You can have Gemini in your chart, right? but decisions with the lovers, right? So you're going to have to follow your heart here. It's time to make a move. All right. Um, Capricorn, I'm going to be reading the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, um, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. You could be dealing with a situation like this right now in the future. Some of you maybe have dealt with this in the past. Um, and cross watchers, please do keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. It's a general reading. So you need to make a move on a decision. That's very evident here. It's on the table as well. So you're going to have to step into your power and make that decision okay your confidence isn't where it needs to be right now queen of wands 
that is fire energy aries leo sagittarius you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in your chart your chart you are not feeling confident enough in yourself to make this decision to make these moves that you need to make but it's time to go it's time to move you you've hesitated too long now we will figure out what this decision is if it's to open your heart if it's to choose between two lovers whatever this decision is you need to make it i mean that's very evident that is the point here so with the queen of wands energy the queen of wands male or female they've taken um some hits to their self-confidence their self-esteem so it's like we need to rise up we need to rise up and do the things that we need to do it's time to rise up and make some moves capricorn all right you have been thinking long enough okay this is a time of contemplation thinking about how we want things um, who we want how we want things to go this is uh, being yeah, kind of quiet um, not necessarily hermit mode but just in thought you know the swords are our thought um, maybe some of you have been uh, contemplating some counseling or something like that but the time of rest right because this is a card of rest the time of rest and reflection and figuring things out right clearing your mind is over the time to hesitate is through um, the universe is pushing you along you're probably seeing signs that it's time to do something here um, so four of swords this is air energy gemini libra and aquarius okay so you're overwhelmed with all of it um the thought of the of what you need to do here the decision that you need to make it's overwhelming but there is something that is holding you back okay now whether that's fear whether that is another person um whatever the case may be this is something that you have to let go of so that you could move forward towards your happiness. So it's like you're weighed down, um, very burdened with all of this. Okay. I feel like you have taken the time to really think about what you want and the direction that you want to go in your life, Capricorn. And it's time to let some things go. Let those fears go, let the worries go, and just move. Um, Ten of Wands here. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The challenge is you are being very self-sacrificing here. The challenge is you're hesitant. The challenge is you're waiting for something to change or somebody else to make a move or, or something. You are the one that has to take control here. You're the one that has to make the decisions. It is up to you. Okay? So we got the hangman here, right? That is the challenge. He hesitation, waiting. It's like you know what you want. Your head is all lit up here, but you're not moving on it. And the universe is pushing you. Do something, Capricorn. Let's go. Your advice, guess what? Is judgment. Make a decision here make a decision and get the ball rolling or you're not it you are you yourself are blocking your own happiness waiting for some I, I don't i'm not entirely sure what you're waiting to happen here but um you need to start following your heart you need to take your power back and you need to go in the direction where you know you're going to be happy that's what this is all about this is about your happiness and capricorn by the looks of these cards, you're not happy. Why are, why are you being hesitant and self-sacrificing in this situation where you're not happy? All right, it's time to make a very bold choice here and make a move. Now, this could be, I mean, you could resonate with this in any situation, right? Whether this is career, lovers, friends, family, whatever the case may be, or you could be, you know... Um, moving for a job, whatever this is, it's the point of this reading is 
you are in the way of yourself and you need to really let go of the fears and and all of these burdens you feel just weighed down with all of it one step at a time but you got to start moving in a new direction okay and and you want to okay because where you've been has left you completely empty you are drained there's no love there it's been too much and you know it's time to go you know it's time to move um eight of cups here this is water energy cancer scorpio and pisces the outcome here is happiness this is happiness um, you're moving towards your happiness, whether this is a new relationship or whatever the case may be. This is a card of commitment, but it's like you have to go through all of this and realize that ultimately the decision is seriously up to you, whether you want to open your heart here, if you want to choose a new person to be with, this is a whole new journey for you. This is a card of happiness. This is happy partnership, happy home life, happy family, right? So where are you going, Capricorn? You're going towards your own happiness. And right now, you're at a standstill. You, there's no movement. So once you finally let go of whatever it is you need to let go of, Things are going to start happening. Things are going to, it's very, you're very afraid right now. So it, it's just let it go. Let it go and start the movement forward. Okay. Look at that. Because the, you've manifested this. You've wanted someone. You've wanted someone new, something new, a new place. New, new, new. You need newness, right? The magician. You've been manifesting this. You've been thinking it in your head because your head's all lit up and now you're hesitant. You got a shot at this, right? Take it. It's here. Take it. Law of attraction, right? All right. Please clarify that Ten of Cups for Capricorn. Please clarify that Ten of Cups for Capricorn for January 2020. Okay. All right. The Hierophant. This is like a higher calling. Some of you, it's a higher level of commitment. Um, this is the next level. This is the next step. You could be dealing with a Taurus or somebody with Taurus in their chart. Okay. So, yeah, this is where your happiness is. This is where your higher calling is. This is where your higher levels of commitment are. But right now, the point is you're going to have to make very clear decision here. King of Swords, you're going to have to start thinking with your head. Kind of put your emotions aside a little bit. Get very clear. And I think you have been getting very clear, right? You've taken the time that you needed to get clear of the decisions that you need to make with this card right here this king of swords you could be dealing with an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart you need to cu cut the cords right it's time to cut the cords um it's time to cut out these burdens release it it's time um and be very uh straightforward about it the king of swords is very straightforward no nonsense it's time for you to rise up and be very clear on what you want to do here because you are headed to something bigger and better whether that is job relationship family whatever this is it's it's time and you're headed towards your happiness you're headed towards like a higher calling so you need to get a little bit fierce. Maybe you need to get a little bit fierce, um, like the King of Swords would, because that is a fierce person, male or female. This is a fierce energy. All right, let's pull some Romance Angels cards. For Capricorn, for January...
2020 for their mid-month reading. What is going on here for Capricorn? This is for Capricorn for January 2020. This is for Capricorn. Look at that. Free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life, right? <laughs> Is that, is that not what this whole entire reading was about? That's what this is all. Free yourself. Whatever this is, whatever this is that is holding you back. If that is a relationship that is stagnant and there's just no love there and you're there just for whatever reason, it's time to free yourself. It's time to free yourself of those fears. It's time to free yourself of you know the lack of confidence it's it's you you need to get your fire back here right you need to get your fire back and separate yourself from every anything negative that is trying to hold you back and trying to get in your way of your happiness especially fear here time apart from your partner is on the horizon now for those of you that resonate more with this as a relationship, it's time to follow your heart towards something else, towards someone else. Let's say that. Because where you have been, it's left you completely and totally drained emotionally. There's no love there. Um, but you're, you're hesitant. Maybe, maybe that's a safe situation, right? There's maybe there's money ties there for some of you. But I feel like um, it's time to follow your heart, time to follow your heart towards your happiness, right? Towards someone new. Maybe you got somebody in mind, but this old situation, it's just, it's kind of done, but we need to let go of it, right? It's almost like Capricorn, you need to rise up and you need to take a risk, like um, not on the safe bet, but where your passion is, Okay. All right. All right, Capricorn, that is your January 2020 mid-month reading. I hope it resonates for some of you, all of you. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can um, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, I do have um, a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule, um, you can see when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I go live every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. All of that information is down below in the description box. And... Um, or in the about section of my channel. Next week, I'll be working on the January 2020 future love readings. So check all of that out. Capricorn, um, the universe is telling you to move, right? Rise up and make a move. So that's where your happiness is going to be. Somewhere else. That's what this is saying. Free yourself. It's time to free yourself. All right, Capricorn, take very good care of yourself. We'll say some prayers for you, and um, I'll talk to you very soon. Have a great week. God bless.